Okay, so now let's talk about the plan generator. Now the plan generator is this far left button on your conduct toolbar. Now this is a little bit of a, this is probably the most complex of the tools and it's kind of a, a drawing setup or a model or project setup uh, interface here. So really what we're doing is we're, we're explaining the project type is new construction. Now new construction is definitely this, the simplest scenario and um, how many levels? So we have four levels. So you got your base level, that's one, two, three, and four. Now uh, there's no basement, and each of the floors are at, at, at 0, 10, 20, 30. They're 10 feet apart. And then which plans do you want? So you know, you want to answer all these questions up front. And I would answer these questions as soon as you know the answers to all of them. And what I mean by that is if you're just going to be designing and starting a project and you know it's a two-story house and you know the floor heights I would just enter them and and run the the plan generator because the plan generator is actually gonna add your conceptual level uh, one two three and four layers and you're gonna need to run the plan generator first in order to complete your layering and model organization so it's important to run it earlier in the process but there's no specific moment where you have to do it and just like everything in the conduct tools this is jump starting the process you can always tweak them you can always move the section planes around and adjust things so if if your level uh, 2 moves to 12 feet it's very very simple to just grab those section planes and move them up two feet manually that's no problem at all but what is what is really being taken care of here is all of the naming the layering uh, layers on and off and styles and so it's just jump starting the whole process and you're gonna want to tweak it yourself okay so new construction four levels uh, there's our floor levels and these are the drawings we want and I'll click on set up project alright so there we go we just generated all of those different scenes and if we look at what that actually produced we can go to view section planes and so you can see like for now I'm just gonna hide our vertical section planes just get rid of those and you can see that like um, the one that looks down here if I double click on that and maybe I'll just hide the rest of these for now that is our first floor section plane and so you might look around and say well um, you know is that cutting where you want it to it looks good to me um, I know that there's some windows up high but that's no big deal because those will drop in as 2d graphics um, and that's you know that's how you do it you go view section plane uh, I'm sorry view view section planes on I hid those so I'm gonna unhide them and you would just take this and maybe like hide the rest and then you could say like well I want to scoot that section plane up a bit and I want it to cut like up there on those windows that's maybe a more appropriate cut so it's very easy you know like I said if if your floor heights move or something you just go in and, and adjust those later on but as soon as you know that information you enter it into the plan generator and that's what's gonna set up your project so uh, some key takeaways here are that as usual this is a jump start on managing your layers styles and scenes and you can always edit these and always change them after you've run these scripts or these these tools and another key takeaway is that there's no absolute correct time to run the plan generator. Keep in mind the plan generator is kind of like your project setup. And I'm, what I mean by that is that when you are running the plan generator, you're entering the number of levels, which is going to dictate whether these layers for conceptual level 1, 2, 3, and 4 are created. So because of that, you're going to need those to run the plan generator before you complete all of your model organization. So I think it's best to answer the questions in the plan generator as soon as you know the answers to them. As soon as you know it's a two-level uh, house, then just make it two levels, run it, get your layers, and finish it all up.